So it's a lazy Sunday morning um, because today's the weather forecast is like 40 degrees so I chose not to head out today but just enjoy a lazy laid-back Sunday I'm going to use the time to clean up the boat and set up some rigs and install some new stuff on the boat so let's go all right, so I picked up a few um, bits and bobs, some metal clamps, real lubricant, some floral lubes, and some hooks, pretty much it. Yep, another hook, and a small burly bucket, which is going to replace this. More importantly, um, some rod holders so when I'm quickly on the move rather than getting it up onto onto the rocket launcher I plan to have these mounted right here so that um, I can just quickly put them here and just move on the go so let's see how this install goes felt the need for this because um, when I had the rods on the side as you were quickly um, moving locations um, it was getting sprayed with some water so I didn't want all the seawater affecting the reels um, which it has on one of them that's why I got one of these so I'm gonna hold that up but in the meantime so this will do wonders so I can just easily put them here quickly on the go so that's gonna go like that it's not gonna get in the way of getting my table um, leg up it just fits so that's pretty good all right so I have installed it this way because um, ideally that should be way up so that it's holding onto the thinner part of um, the rod but I didn't have that much space so that's gonna just um, hold on to the handle so let's see how this works so on the move I'll simply put the rod like this and in it goes look at that Right. So this will be ideal when I'm quickly on the move, moving to places to places. Very good. Happy with that. And I'm just going to lubricate this reel. One of my favorite, Abu Garcia Revo. This caused a bit of pain for me when I was out the other day. stiff so what I had gone in and so I gave it a good wash dried it and hopefully it should be smooth so for the last few um, night sessions where I was catching hairtail I was using this rig um, bought from Korea so it has I think it's got around what uh, 50 pound liter um, with a Lumo tube it's got some flashes and then a nice sharp hook and this is with a clip and it also has a, a tube just a normal tube to just strengthen it I guess but um, I am hoping to replicate this um, using a very thin wire so new and improved version if you like so let's see how it goes because this is pretty much all scarred and done up probably the next hair tail that i hook up i'll probably lose this so i'm going to make this using these that i just picked up so nice hook and i've got 50 pound um, nylon coated wire and some luma tubes of various sizes and i've got the connector sleeves so i'll be clamping this on all right, let's get to it. All right, so I managed to salvage um, most of the parts. Um, I will make two versions just for the trial. So one, I will insist on this um, 50 or 80 pound um, liter, but for the other one, I will utilize the, um, the nylon coated metal wire. 
and test both rigs, see if it makes any difference. So I'll just tie this, just a, a uni knot. Probably just need to go four times as it's a quite a thick line. So pull that through. Alright, so that's gonna go in and I will heat this up in my garage. I've got the heating gun in the garage. So that one's good to go, good as new. Now for the business end. So I've got the size two millimeters Lumo green tube. try and make it longer because I was catching the head tail's mouse before all right so one is finished so that's just reusing the previous rig and I'll tighten this with the heat sink wrap and um, the heat gun I should say so that's just reusing the existing one that I had so one's done and I'll make another one now with the metal. This time I'll make the Lumo tube a bit short because all it's gonna do is just not really strengthen it but really just light up and I am using one of these from craft shops um, as flashes so all I do is cut it into that I do a fold and I just make um, some fine cuts. Same on the other side. So putting that metal through. And I simply put them through here. Alright, so that's gone. And I'll put the Lumo through. And lastly, put this easy clipper on. Alright. Alright, so that is one that I have repaired and two I have made using the metal wire. I've got the Lumo tube and I've got the flashes. I made and um, reused the original hook and also the metal swivel bit.